Today, I traded everyone on the Lakers roster aside from AD. Anthony Davis will now be the face of their franchise in Los Angeles, and we will be rebuilding the roster around him. Players all the way from LeBron James to Bronny James will be traded in order to make this happen in hopes of forming a dynasty in Los Angeles. Now, before you guys freak out, the reason I chose AD this time instead of LeBron is because AD is 31, he has four years left on his contract. LeBron's 39, only has a year left. All right, we're, we're rebuilding around AD. I would like to move him back to his power forward position, we'll see if we're able to do that, but LeBron, Austin Reeves, D'Lo, Rui, Jared Vanderbilt, Christian Wood, Dalton, Jackson Hayes, Gabe Vincent, Cam Radish, Max Christie, Jalen Hood, and Bronny James are all getting traded. I kind of want to trade LeBron first because it kind of gives me a basis of who else we can get. LeBron's going to have the most trade value, obviously, a 96 overall. So if we trade him and D'Lo, we can get Paul George and Tyrese Maxey. I like that. We can get Lillard and Chris Middleton. I'm not, I definitely like the first trade more than that. Cat and Gobert not even thinking about that. Chet and Jalen Williams is interesting, but we have AD down there, so I'm not fiending to get a big just yet for LeBron. I like this a ton. We get our starting point guard and small forward. I can also move Tyrese Maxey to the shooting guard position. I can move Paul George to the shooting guard position if I want. So this gives us a lot of options for the future of the rotation. Now, up next, I'm probably going to package like Austin Reeves. I want to package him with a younger player like Dalton. So we'll package them two and see if we can pretty much get any position that we see. Now, Jeremy, Jaden McDaniels is interesting. We could get him and Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Jaden McDaniels plugs in and instantly becomes a 3 and D player in that starting lineup, which that would be perfect next to Paul George and AD. We can get Jalen Duran, who can be our starting center for pretty much the rest of the video. I don't really know how you would stop him and AD. So let's take let's take Jalen Duran for this trade package, which I mean we're able to move AD back to his primary position now, and then we can package. Let's see, I might propose a trade for a shooting guard in all honesty, and see what we can get. I might try. Oh my gosh! Stop giving me a beat. I'm gonna go to the Pelicans real quick. Actually, no. I want. Can I get? I maybe I want to get Dante Divincenzo on the team. That would not be bad. I could go for Jalen Suggs. Let's see if we can get Jalen Suggs at that starting shooting guard position. We're going to have to get rid of Rui, Vanderbilt. They're going to have to give us some, like, awful players. Who do the Magic have that's awful? Corey Joseph, you're a 72. And then I guess we can package, like, Bronny Jane. Nah, he's a one-star player. All right, we're going to package some first-round picks. We'll package two. If this isn't enough, I'm going to package some second-round picks. All right, we get Jalen Suggs at that shooting guard position now, which means we will keep Tyrese Maxey at the point guard position. We have our starters figured out now, which is... Honestly, a great start so far. So let's trade some bench players here. We get Trey Mann and Grant Williams. That's the only trade popping up for these three players. I like this a lot. We can move Grant to that small forward position. Goes up like one fourth of an overall, if that. Then we can also get rid of Cam Reddish, Gabe Vincent, and Jackson Hayes. No trades were found, so just kidding. Adam Bono would not be bad, actually. I don't hate that. If we see a good pick, I might take that. Charles Basie is always a safe pick in the rebuilds we could use him at that bench center position okay i can get bogdan bogdanovich we're doing this one of the six man of the year candidates this past season will plug in off our bench fantastically i don't really know how i'm gonna run grant trey and bogdan yet but i mean i'll figure it out at some point we actually only have two more players to trade so i'm gonna be probably taking a big rick lopez would not be oh my gosh i'm i know i said i was taking a big we're, we're taking rob i would be dumb not to do that so we have a bit of a interesting situation here we're moving grant back to the power forward position we have bogged on to the small forward position and now we'll run a lineup of tyrese maxi rob Corey joseph jalen suggs trey man malik beasley pj dozier bogged on paul george ad grant williams this who when did we get this guy and then we have Jalen Duren at the five all right looks like we're easily going to be over a 50 win team this season i like our starting five a ton an issue i'm gonna run into is I like Rob Dillingham a ton as a player I want him to start I don't know where he starts at Tyrese Maxey is a starting point guard there's no doubt about it Jalen Suggs is a phenomenal two-way player Paul George is one of the greatest small forwards out there so we'll see what we can cook up there Anthony Davis is actually on the all-nba second team this year for us and he's also on that all defensive first team which is awesome to see we're also the first seed in our conference so we're kind of cooking right now ad had 22 13 three assists a steal two blocks this season paul george had 25 four assists two steals half a block he's still playing so well despite being 34 years old durham with 12 12 a steal and a block i don't know how you stop him and ad down low it's that simple jalen suggs 
had 11 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, half a block. The only thing I can think of is I trade him and Paul George for, I don't know, just another small forward. Tyrese Maxey had 20 and 4. Rob had 13 off the bench for 36 mats. He's really another Tyrese Maxey, man. Bogdan had 8, Trey Mann had 8, and then Grant Williams had 5. We can trade, I guess, Paul George and Jalen Suggs and get a different wing so we can start Rob Dillingham. We are playing the Sacramento Kings in the second round this season as we do sweep them to play the Oklahoma City Thunder, who we're always going to play him. All right, Anthony Davis wins a Western Conference Finals MVP, and I'm glad we did this video around him. We're playing these six-seeded Celtics. How is this the six seed? Drew Holiday, Derek White, Brown, Tatum, Chris Epps, Al Horford, Peyton Pritchard, Luke Cornette, Sam. It's literally their regular roster that won an NBA championship. We win first year. What can I say? I just know what trades to make. I'm I'm just I'm that good, man. Anthony Davis, the perfect player to 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 build around. Finals MVP averaged 28, 13, 4, 2, and 1. No one look at the three-point percentage, alright? It doesn't say 9.1%. I photoshopped it just now. Alright, it's time to explore this trade for Paul George and Jalen Suggs. I don't hate keeping them on the team, especially if we don't see something I really want. Hold up. Hold up. This is an insane trade package. Paolo is a 90 overall at 22. I don't care, bro. He shows he shows shades of LeBron. He's a great player, an under-the-radar player, in my opinion. We're moving him to that small forward position. We also get Anthony Black off the bench, which our bench could definitely be better, so that's awesome. We're going to get rid of... Let's see. Let's We can keep... Trayman honestly played well. What did Anthony Black do last season? He still hasn't really gotten an opportunity. I want to run him at the backup point guard position. I want to run... We can pretty much trade the rest of our bench, actually. We'll package Grant and Trey Mann, and then whoever this is. We pretty much just only have a bench point guard right now. Uh, Kevin Herter's interesting, and we get Devin Carter here? Why would the Kings ever do this? I could take Walker Kessler. We're just going to do this, man. We get a great backup big man for us. We still do have Bogdan on the team as well. I pretty much want to redo the entire bench, though... Oh my gosh, I love Kenyon Martin Jr., dude. I think he's a phenomenal player. We also get Caleb Martin here. I would trade Caleb Martin so fast. Jalen Smith is a interesting player. 10-8, shot 33% from three last season. Miles Bridge is not taking you. John Collins. Wow. What are we doing to this Laker roster? We're moving him to the power forward position. Now we have Anthony Black, John, and Walker Kessler off the bench, which we need a wing. For sure, there are some great options actually available. Gary Payton the second would be interesting. Let's get Torian Prince back on the Lakers, man. He would have been fine if that man Darvin Ham didn't start him every single game and treat him like MJ, but you know, we get to do that. We're starting Rob. Anthony Black will come off the bench. Then we have Tyrese Maxey, Paolo, Torian Prince, Anthony Davis, John Collins, Jalen Dern, and Walker Kessler. This might be one of my favorite teams I've ever done. Also, the players you're gonna see and the b-roll footage at the intro of the video aren't going to be players on this lakers roster i actually tried to do this video earlier my mic didn't record anything and honestly the rebuild went a lot worse than this one has gone i haven't traded for any of the same players most of those trades haven't even popped up though i did things differently by trading lebron first in this video the first time i traded him last horrible idea man so now we're cooking. What can I say? This is one of the favorite teams I've made. I like that we have Rob Dillingham. Honestly, that was a shocker that we were able to get him. We won 64 games this year. Rob Dillingham just won most improved player for us. And we don't have any all NBA players. So that's a bit of a shock. Do we not have any all defensive players either? That's a bigger shock. All right. We're the first seed once again in our conference. Tyrese Maxey with 24 and 5 this season. Rob Dillingham with 19 9 assists over a steal. Paolo with 22, 8, and 7. AD with 29, 3 assists, a steal, 2 blocks. Duran had 10 and 10 with a steal and a block. Off the bench, Walker Kessler had 6, 7, and a block. For 36 stats are fantastic. He needs a starting spot, just not in our lineup. John Collins, 11, 6. Dude, hold up. His per 36 stats were 20, 10, half a steal, and a block. That man should be starting too. Don't have a spot for him. Anthony Black gave him a shot, averaged 4 and 4. Dwayne Prince. Played better than that man off the bench. That's crazy. Yeah, not in a million years that I think that would happen. We do sweep Memphis in the first round, and we finally get past the Nuggets as the Lakers. We have to play the Mavericks squad. It's looking like it's really just their team, so we should be fine. 
here. We win in five. Palo does take Western Conference Finals MVP. Dude, we play the Hornets every video now. I don't get it. Why are they actually cooking? They have Lamella, Ace Bailey, Brandon Miller, Sarich, Mark Williams, Nick Richards, Josh Green, Jairus Walker, Cody Martin, and Nick Smith. Do you know that man Lamella has got to be averaging 30? Yeah, 30, 12, and over two steals is insane. I don't know how we were able to make the starting five. Like, dude, just look at this rotation. We have Kessler, John Collins, Torian Prince, and Anthony Black off the bench as well. We sweep to win our second championship of the video, and Palo wins finals MVP. Average 26, 8, 7, a steal, a block, and shot 56% from the field, 44% from three. I ended up having the 15th pick in the draft, and the Lakers just drafted a 6-8 point guard, so I'm getting rid of Torian Prince and Anthony Black for a different wing player. I can get Stefan Castle, bro. That's actually disgusting. Jacoby Walter is not bad either. These are really good trades for the players that I'm giving up. I kind of want to get Cameron Johnson. We're just going to do this. This is a little too much, but bro, this dude's a 6'8 point guard. We're giving him a chance. Now we're running Rob Dillingham, Ellis Harrington, Tyrese Maxey, Paolo Cam Johnson, AD, John Collins, Walker Kessler, and Jay Linduran. All right, once again, we're going to be well over 60 wins. I've just absolutely cooked this video. Lakers fans, you're welcome. Everybody probably thought I was insane for doing this around AD and Le not LeBron. Well, guess what? I was cooking. If we don't lose another game, we'll be a 70-win team this year. So we'll see if that... Oh my gosh, we lose to the Kings. Of course, I knew it was going to happen to them. Lamelo just won MVP. Wow, he has been on one. Josh Hart won sixth man of the year. Why is he on the Pacers? Now, interesting. Do we have any all-NBA players? Nope. Any all-defensive players? Yeah, AD back on the all-defensive team. And we're the first seed in our conference. Once again, Rob up to 21-10-2. What a phenomenal signing by me at the beginning of the video for like absolutely no assets. Tyrese had 20, 5 assists and a steal. Paolo had 20, 8, 8, a steal and a block. His defense has actually been better than it usually is in the rebuilds. AD had 19, 9, 3 assists, a steal, 2 blocks. Jalen Dern had 13, 9 rebounds, a steal and a block. Off the bench, Kessler had 6, 6, 2 blocks. Should he be starting? Him and Dern are pretty much averaging the same stats. Sean Collins had 10 and 5. I'm getting on the Ellis Harrington hype train right away. 8, 4, and a steal. The GOAT. Cam Johnson also had a silent 7 points. What did he shoot from 3? Third, oh boy. I, I got this man as a stretch wing and he shot 31% from 3. The GOAT Ellis Harrington shot 43. Are you kidding me? Alright, Ellis Harrington's the GOAT. What can I say? Carry us to the promised lands. We beat the Mavericks in the first round, but now we have to play Victor Wimbanyama and the mid san antonio spurs hopefully we can pull this off and we win in four games two ones again play a thunder squad they added key on ellis i don't think you understand the defense they just added in their starting lineup they still have topic case and wallace and wiggins and darren peterson off the bench oh my gosh we're down by a game hold up i didn't mean to do that oh my gosh we lose oh the hornets are nba champions all right well hornets fans there you go well we did end up winning two championships on the video we finished with a roster of rob dillingham tyrus maxi palo ad and Duran. how we lost uh, is beyond me we had kessler john collins cam johnson and ellis harrington off the bench this man's the greatest player in nba history debatable if you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe comment and i will catch you all with the next video